About three years ago, I moved all the, the dining room was full of marine um, artefacts, which I removed and put uh, railway artefacts in because I, I like live steam. That is another passion of mine. And from that point onwards, there's a lot of people saying, "Oh, you know, why do you do this, this, and this, and this?" Uh, I thought, "Okay, we'll build them on the railway." We moved here into room two, and there's a redundant ensuite. Sarah said to my wife that uh, we should never do one in here. So. In order to keep the ensuite intact, should we ever move the railway, we'll remove the sink, the WC, shower screens, etc., 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 and we've built the tables. And then from that, we'll build the high level railway, which is a stop start railway, which will start um, the whole duration of the journey will be about 27 feet. And that will also include probably three tracks and lots of sidings and shunting. The station names are going to be. Dumfries, Gretna and Carlisle and also there will be a point in case we decide to increase the size of the railway into our lounge which will mean cut a hole in the wall but we'll have to see how that goes. The, there's one dedicated steam line which is for the Flying Scotsman and the outside track has got a loop so there are two live steam trains on that particular track but they don't go into anywhere else that's it. The two internal tracks are for electric and um, Flying Scotsman Pulling in the rake of maybe seven coaches and a 2M2 tank, probably pulling four coaches, and that will be it. It's just in and out of the main line station. We've got a lay track for the ground level, there'll be a higher level, which will be the interesting area. The higher section will be supported by a viaduct with open portals so you can actually see the trains going through. Uh, the whole plan is going to probably be about three or four years. And obviously we're interested in any customers putting input into this. Mm -hmm.